No. You can ask any governor, any senator, and that's it. There's always a paid hack. It's not only in other professions. Police, do not ever think that you are in a field of purity. Tapos magsalita kayo din yung slam eh. Maka! Bagong Pilipinas! Nakapuha si Noel VC at ito ang One News! Report! Rewind! React! Respect! Alam mo, tatlong journalism dito sa Pilipinas. Do not ever think that I am here to beautify a journalist. That's not my business. Now, in the matter of killing, killings of journalists, it happens everywhere. Now, there are three kinds of journalists in this country. Those who are the crusaders telling the truth, bearing it all before the public. And sometimes uh, they hate big business or those who cannot tolerate uh, the truth being exposed to the public. To you mga crusaders, and they do not accept money. What is very important to them is their profession and telling the truth to the whole world. Ito yun. Then there's a second class of journalists in this country. Yun yung mga mouthpiece ng vested interest. It could be mining, defending the miners. It could be anything. It, it could be something which is uh, a, an agent for uh, whatever, and those engage in uh, businesses or enterprises which need to be defended, and that what they call the publicists and the PROs. The third is the low life of journalists. Ito yung nagbabiyahe, accepting money from illegal sources, exposing wetting, and in return keeping shut their mouth and receive money. And these are the guys whose greed is unlimited. So they are paid now, then they ask for more, and if there's nothing coming their way, they talk more, they destroy people and family, and they die. Yan ang tatlo. And I'm sure that all the senators, all the congressmen, all the governors and mayors and councillors of this country would find agreement in my statement. It's about time we bear each other. Wag tayong magbulahan. Let us not deny each other the truth. Para wala ka mga. Ang problema kasi dito, when you ask a question to us sa mga politiko, it is as if the person killed is a saint. Just because he, he's a journalist, he, journalist, he's not supposed to be killed because he's a journalist. Ah, wag na tayo magbulahan dito. I'm saying this without excuses. No apologies, no nothing. You like to hear it? Fine. If you don't, so be it. That's the truth. Pag tayong magbun... Alam ninyo yan. They abound the vultures pretending to be journalists. Ang problema dito, every son of a bitch who claims to be a journalist makes money out of it, mulking money, extorting money from the people, and he is killed, and he is glorified because he's journalist. Eh, kung ganon, if that is the case, then urge everybody, yung walang trabaho, if you do not have any work, and you have graduated from college, be a journalist and make money to the hilt. Huwag tayo magbulahan dito. Yun talaga ang journalism sa Pilipinas. That is the truth. 
At ako lang ang kakapagsabi sa inyo. Oh, why do I care? It's the truth. You can ask any congressman now. You can ask any governor, any senator, and that's it. There's always a paid hack. It's not only in other professions. Police, do not ever think that you are in a field of purity. Tapos magsalita kayo din yung slam eh, for what? God. You must be joking. You must be joking. Huwag ninyo akong sasabihin ko sa inyo. Dito sa Dabao, kay mga Diyos, may gusto akong upakan. You know, my son wanted to just buy plastics. Ano? Pati anak ko, hinihian pa ng mga ulul. And they think that it's something to do. Because you accept into your field journalists, people who they could not even write straight sentence. Then they go there to their publishers, write anything, and the proofreader will correct it. And he goes around asking money. You want to see it? You visit me incognito. You join me in one when, when I go around. And I would point out to yan, yan, yan. Wala tayo magpulahan dito. Lahat halos lahat tumingi. Anak naman. Ayoko lang magsalita. Lahat. <laughs> Bro. I said, no apologies. You like it? Fine. You know? What's your problem? I said, I am not here. I cannot protect all journalists all over the Philippines. Now, if you are uh, belong to the first group, the ones that are really bona fide journalists, you run the risk. You expose something. Corruption and all. That's a risk. It's like soldiering. You join the army. There's always a chance that when you go out today for a patrol and you get an encounter, and you're killed. In journalism, you speak the truth firmly. Then you invite danger. Well, of course, we'd want to protect you. But I cannot assign every to every journalist who's crusading doing his thing and in return being killed. Eh, bakit at the end of the question kami yung kontrabida na ask where what is his category and you would know. Just the look at the paper and you would know. Huwag na natin pag-usapan yan. You read the newspaper and the things they write about that you uh, fellow human being. Minsan, binababoy mo na. You know, you forget in this country that there, in the revised penal code, there is the protection of life. At hindi pa yan na wala. Just because there is a free speech, free assembly. That is on paper. That is not emotion of a human being. What is written there is not the emotion of the person. Honor. Honor. Especially if it is false. Kagaya nung ginawa nung last election kayong Tagadabaw. Makita ninyo yung basura? Both in the network and the newspaper? See the garbage that Trillanes was pouring in and everybody, every, well, of course it's money. We ask one, bakit ganun siya? And he answered, he's the executive, he's the top puncho. Eh, negosyo kasi ito, you see? Eh, putang inang kalukuhan. Is that the answer? Bakit naman sinubrahan ninyo? Eh, alam mo, negosyo rin it. Negosyo ito. So, you, you, you deal in, in a business that uh, destroy the honor and the... Gano, how about it? Kaya ngayon, pag hiniya mo isang an ang tao, tapos tanungin siya ng anak niya, Tayo magnanakaw ka pala. Ah, papatayin ka talaga. Sigurado yan. There will always be a reckoning one of these days. Because the Philippines until now considers honor and life on the same level. Huwag mo lang sabihin na, yeah, ah, that's journalism, you suffer. Maghanap talaga yan ng... 
kaya you go into an excess or you indulge in excesses, you'll get it. You will get it. And I am not encouraging people, but lahat ng tao, siraan mo, bababuyin mo. Ay, for example, sabihin mo, ay, yung anak ni Duterte si Sarah, umalis ng Pilipinas kasi doon ng anak. O sabihin mo yung asawa niya, may dinadalang di ay gabi-gabi. Ba ikaw? Kung sabihin ko sa inyo, yung asawa mo ng aliwa, alam mo ba na wala ka na dito kaya sa probinsya, ginaganaw ng asawa mo? Oh, how would you feel? Are you aware that your wife is committing adultery every time you are out of the town? Ano sabihin niya? niya? Oh, how would you feel? No, sabi nga, hindi mo ba alam ang asawa mo po ta na mumumuta pag wala ka? Kayong nagsusulat, okay yan. Because you have the, you have the luxury of whatever you want to write, whatever garbage that you want. In the name of public service, in the name of truth. That's bullshit. You go to a bank. Tapos maghingi ka. Like what Pala did. He was extorting money everywhere. And he would say, do not deposit in that bank because it's losing money. It's about to close. So everybody was paying him. And there was this confrontation by the KBP. Uh, there was this discussion about his behavior. What did he do? He went to that meeting at the upper beyond carrying a, an arm light. So, He was a journalist. He was threatening the broadcasters. You, media from Dabao, should tell the media outside. And is that journalism? We're about to, in the group of KBP, kapisana ng broadcasters sa Pilipinas. It's a self-regulating body. And there was this discussion that day about censoring him. He went there with an armalite and with a group of goons and threatened to kill people. And you say that is a hero. Putang ina. Anong klase? Kaya pagka ganun, ano? It, no apologies. Bullshit. You want it? Fine. If you do not accept it. So be it. And so? Magprangkahan na tayo. It's better to tell the truth and agree on the truth rather than play bullshit uh, with journalism. Ano? Lahat, lahat, lahat is stasyon ng TV. Pera-pera yan. Eh, sagotin ka, negosyo lang ito eh. So you sacrifice the truth because pera-pera lang ang negosyo ng mga TV networks. Kung, you know, when the When they do it and they would say, well, nag tao lang kami, we're all uh, human beings. Pag kabila, kami dito, uh, eh, kasi demonyo lang yan sila. Eh, dapat talaga ma-expose. Uh, and to tell you that you sacrifice human dignity and truth for money, All of you, may mga newspaper, may mga... It's about time, like, just like the priest in this country. Just like the bishop, the bullshit. Nothing is going right here. When they do it, it's good. When they ask, even aware of the separation of the church and state, you ask vehicles from the president and you get SUV. And when the excuse time comes and you say, it was for charity, a luxury car for charity, my dear bishops. Isa pa kayo mga, isa pa kayo mga putang ina. <laughs> What a hypocrite society. When you, when you fund us when we were young, going into confession, holding our prick, And asking us what are our sins, 
and you keep fundling us while we are pouring out our sins, then you pretend to be the righteous institution in this country. At kung mag kayo. Church, journalism, politicians, police, all. There's a veil of hypocrisy. Let us unveil it. So that we can understand each other and live in a democracy that is run by truth and not by vested interest or people who pretend. It's the pretension dito. Suppose your advice, you know, Mayor Duterte, if you are really a victim of abuse and the rest of your class, why don't you file a case? You know, a stupid statement from it happened when we were first years. That was in 1950s. To whom shall we file a case? Itong si Oka Cross, another idiotic bishop. Who do you suggest file a case? Where will you file a case? That's acts of lasciviousness. It prescribes in about five years, ten years. There's no more crime. What court shall hear it? The priest? He's in hell now. Long time ago, he died. How much uh, did they pay the offended parties? 25 million. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and click notification bell for more updates.